Good evening, I'm Todd Coons. And I'm Linda Larson. Our top story tonight is our recent extreme weather. Blowing snow on Highway 26 near Antelope Creek results in a snowplow slamming into an Idaho State Police patrol car. We want you to take a look at this. Troopers say around 9 this morning they were handling a multi-car crash. An Idaho Transportation Department plow was unable to stop before striking the ISP car and two other cars. They say conditions at that time were very slick with blowing snow and low visibility. Two ISP troopers were in the patrol car at the time of the crash. They were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. The emergency personnel treated the others involved at the crash site. But this video shows what happened just before the plow accident. A car comes through the crash area on the right shoulder around the ISP car and back to the left side of a tow truck and other emergency vehicles, almost hitting them. Troopers say they were going too fast for conditions. The CS Church building in Swan Valley was set up as a shelter for stranded motorists until roads were reopened. Bonneville County Sheriff's deputies want to remind motorists that it is so important not to travel beyond those road closed signs. Now let's turn it over to First Elite Chief Alert Chief Meteorologist Michael Coates. Michael, it's been a crazy, crazy day. Yeah, we had a wind last night over 50 miles per hour for many spots, even some thunderstorm activity with some thunder snow at about 12.30 and 1 o'clock late last night, early this morning. Blowing and drifting snow, the biggest problem here with those highways. Highway 33 closed here from Tetonia into Madison County. Highway 32 also closed going into Ashton. Plus, again, we talked about Highway 26. It's still closed. We got blowing and drifting snow. Still a huge issue east of Ryrie to Swan Valley. Also still closed. Highway 20 from Idaho Falls to INL. That's closed due to blowing and drifting snow tonight. Yeah, you can't get to Arco from Idaho Falls unless you take the long way around. We're expecting to see some snow still with us here, moving out of Magic Valley locations and getting in here across southern and southeastern Idaho. This is the stuff that's coming in here for tonight. Good news to the forecast, though. The winds are calming down. We're getting back down to some more manageable levels. Still pretty breezy, though, at the Pocatello Airport at 17 mile per hour winds. We got winds out of the south at 9 in Idaho Falls, 7 for Salmon, but 18 in Chouse, and 11 for Driggs and Jackson. Coming up in the big weather, we got a lot to talk about. More snow on the way for tonight, but another system taking aim in that eight day forecast. We'll send it back over to Linda.